Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. What the heck? I'm sorry, this is, he's just too silly. Um, I'm making this video to kind of show off my worms, because I have a lot of them in stock and in progress right now, and people seem to really like them, so I figured they would make a YouTube video about it. Um, <laughs> so basically, I had this idea just before, um, for SonaCon 2019, I think, last year. My cat is jingling in the background. Um, so I had this idea. I took one ball of yarn in every rainbow color and I made one worm with them. I brought them to FursonaCon and I was like, I hope people like these. Um, they did. <laughs> I sold out of them at FursonaCon except for like two, I think. And then I sold those earlier this year and people kept wanting them. And I have done commissions for them and I'm currently making pre-made stock ones. Um, as you can see, this one is about a foot and a half along the way in progress. This one is also in progress. Um, I sewed the eyes onto these before they were completely finished being crocheted just to make it a little faster. Um, these three are already posted in my shop. Um, orange one, a green one, and this multicolor neon one. Um, I don't know how I feel about the multicolor ones, but I figure I'll make like one and if it doesn't sell, I can just always unravel it and use it for something else. Um, these three worms are going to be added probably tomorrow or the next day um, from when I'm posting this. These are completely finished, ready to be sold. They're just not posted yet because I want to post them with these two later. Um, the other one I'm excited about that's almost finished, which I'm going to finish up pretty much when I finish this video, is the pastel rainbow one. And I technically finished it yesterday, but I realized I put way too much blue on it, so I had to undo it and redo the purple part. And that's why I have so many going at once. But yeah, this was another one where I was like, I don't know if I want to make striped ones because I don't think they would sell. But if this one doesn't sell, I will keep it for myself because I like pastel rainbow. I also made a bright rainbow one, which I'll put a picture of now. And that one was a commission, which is also why I made it, but I really like how that one turned out. So I think I will make more of those to sell as pre-mades. Um, but maybe just not any random color combinations. I think I'll stick with rainbow and pastel rainbow for now. But yeah, that was my short worm, uh, introduction i guess i don't know i'm just looking at them i really like them i like having a whole army of them like my bed is covered in worms right now can't stop jingling it's very important but yeah um i'm also going to insert the tiktoks that i made that have a fun worm story right after this so i hope you enjoy those and i'll see you in my next video Goodbye, baby, get off the worm. So I make these worm on a string scarves um, all by myself. I created the pattern myself. I make every single one and I sell them in my store on Depop. Um, and I had something pretty interesting happen this week, so I just wanted to tell you about it. So I posted a picture of a worm I finished for a customer on Instagram and person A, a woman, comes to me and says, hey, I really like your work. I wanna buy one of these for my husband for Christmas. And I say, sure, I'll make one for you. We get the payment sorted, I start on it, and I am about to finish it the next day when person two, her husband, calls me on my phone number, which isn't publicly available, so I still know how he got it, and tells me, hey, I wanna buy a worm scarf, how do I do that? So I start freaking out like, you both want one, what should I do? Stay tuned for part two. Welcome back to part two. <laughs> I forgot to mention this, but the husband had left me a voicemail on my phone that basically said like that he wanted one, yes, but also that he owned the company that distributes Worm on a Strings. So I was at that point like, oh my god, this is pretty serious. I need to make sure we do like what he wants so he gets his Worm on a String scarf. But I didn't... I didn't want to like ruin the surprise that his wife had already ordered him one for Christmas, but I also didn't want to take his money a second time and then send him two because that would just be weird. <laughs> so I ended up messaging his wife on Instagram and saying, hey, what should we do? And she decided to just tell him that she already ordered one. <laughs> um, and that was the end of that problem. But I wanted to share this story because I thought it was so sweet that she thought of him and his company 
to buy him one of these for Christmas, and she knew him so well to the point where he also was considering commissioning me for one of these.